It's not very surprising to find doodles on the walls at schools, but at one Prince George's County school, the wall artwork is far more than smiley faces. CNS TV's Misha Green witnessed how this school uses wall art as a part of its curriculum. I know where the mural is. From the outside, Thurgood Marshall looks like an ordinary middle school, but the hallways are far from normal. A mural is a large picture on a wall, on a building. Art teacher Jordan Shackleford wanted to give the school a facelift. Well, I wanted to introduce some colors and change the atmosphere and turn this from a boring facility into a place of infinite possibilities. None of this was here at the beginning of the first semester, and now it's 338 feet long. By the end of this school year, Shackleford plans on doubling that number. That won't be hard. The students love mural time. My first time painting a mural was my favorite time I've ever painted because I've never, ever actually got to paint on, like, school walls before. Shackleford prod students to take the lead on the project. We did a lot of this too. We were telling where to stand and what part to paint on. They and we got on. the materials ready for them. It's a big hit with the faculty. I think they love the art in the wall because when they walk past it, sometimes the teachers, like, they say stuff about them. Uh, I even had a couple teachers donate supplies. Mr. Shackleford has just taken the arts to another level, showing the students I told you you had greatness. Now you can see it in your in your murals. Seeing their potential greatness has given the students a new passion. Art is everything to me. Like it's 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 creativity, and um, I think I'm a very creative person. In Temple Hills, I'm Misha Green, CNS TV. The students at the school are still working to get this mural as big as possible. They want to tell a story about all four seasons in school through the murals.